Hi everyone, my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla and today I'm going from Lisbon all the way to Paris and I'm gonna ask you to come along and see what it's like during the pandemic. Let's go. Hi everyone, so I'm flying from Portugal to Italy, um, but the bureaucracy is just out of this world. In order for me to get to Italy right now during the pandemic, I had to fill in, um, no, I had to fill out three forms, two for Italy, one for France, and take the RT-PCR test for COVID-19, which cost me 100 euros. If you wanna watch the video, please check it out. It's here on Travelzilla. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's crazy. I spent about one euro to print everything. And tonight I'm going to Milan. When you buy your tickets, print and fill out the forms that the countries of both your arrival and departure require you to fill out. Otherwise, you won't be able to board the aircraft. The forms are available at the company's website. Hey guys, so I got my COVID 19 results and it's negative so i can fly to milan and my results came in uh in the night of the day in which i had my uh test done so negative i can go to milano it took just a few hours like i got it done in the morning right past midnight right after midnight i got the test results so pretty cool if you wish to know more about how to get tested for COVID-19 in Lisbon, please check out my video about it. It's here on Travelzilla, link in description. There's a metro line that links my neighborhood in the center of Lisbon to the city's airport, but it was too early, so I came by Uber, which cost me seven euros. For flights within Europe, please make sure you get to the airport two hours prior to your boarding time, okay? The counters won't be open before that, meaning that you won't be able to check in your pieces of luggage. Get in two hours before boarding time, okay? A member of the Air France staff checked everyone's documents while everybody was standing in line. He checked if my documents were okay and if my COVID test was negative. So here I am now. They haven't announced our gate yet, so it's empty. I'm gonna check and see if I can buy panadas, um, custard tarts to buy to my friend. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'll try anyway. This journey will be divided in two different videos, one for each part of the flight. Here in Lisbon, they have this new piece of equipment, so I didn't have to remove my laptop from my bag. Cool beans. Hey guys, it's really, really early in the morning. Um, it's not even five o'clock. Well, it's four in a little bit. Um, we'll st I still don't have a gate number. Uh, it's all right though, because it's pretty empty, but you know, it's safer that way. And it's safer this way. And uh... The airport was empty. Oh my. Talk about social distancing. Check this out. That's what I talk about and I talk about social distancing, right? It took forever for them to announce our gate number, but eventually they had to do it. 15A. You know, go to your uh, airline site. They'll provide you a link to a place in which you can download the form, print it and fill it out. Um, two forms, uh, basically in the forms you say that um, you don't hold anyone responsible if you get COVID, um, that you haven't, that you don't have it and that you haven't been around anyone who's had it in the past 14 days and you say that you haven't come from certain countries, so on and so forth. The people by the gate respected the social distancing rules as much as they could. We took the bus from the gate area to the aircraft and the number of people by ride was limited, you know, so not that many people really. Time to board. We took the bus from the gate area to the aircraft. 
but the number of people was limited per ride, so not that many people really. My seat was located at the back of the aircraft, so we had to enter at the rear of the aircraft, obviously. The flight to Paris was pretty full, as you're gonna see in just a few minutes. My flight from Lisbon to Paris was on time. Boarding started at 5 a.m. and at 5.30 the aircraft had left the premises. The flight cost me 100 euros one way. The price included a 10 kilo piece of hand luggage and a 23 kilo piece of check-in luggage, not to mention a small breakfast. My aircraft tray had an attached cup holder that didn't work quite well. Aside from the cup holder ordeal, the airplane's tray table was pretty standard, it worked just fine. We got some tissues to have our area sanitized too, something necessary when you're flying in the pandemic. So we've flown on an Airbus A319-100. The Air France KLM group has 33 airplanes of this model, which is big enough to fly up to 143 passengers per flight. The seat pocket is also standard, no magazines but an aircraft safety card and a sickness bag just in case you need to have a go for some reason, let's hope you never ever need to use that. Aside from that, always check out where the emergency doors are located. The aircraft has Wi-Fi, good legroom if you're up to 5 feet tall, but if you're taller than that, it can get a bit uncomfortable. So just let you know. Let's fly now, shall we? Let's go! The flight from Lisbon to Paris Charles de Gaulle is about 2.5 hours long. Hey guys, don't forget to bring a pen or more with you given the sheer number of forms you're going to be required to fill out writing all the information you've given before to different governments or government institutions such as immigration services, different health departments, so on and so forth. Get ready. The flight was pretty smooth, very little turbulence if any. The airplane offers Wi-Fi to its passengers, written messages can be sent to use your apps, but that's about it without a minimum cost. If you want to send voice messages, use apps or watch videos, you're going to have to pay 20 euros and then use the internet. The local Wi-Fi portal will also give you info on the flight, so on and so forth. Soon enough it was daytime and before we knew it, it was time for breakfast. They've served us orange juice, coffee, tea, I asked for some water and they've served us cake trio called Trio of Madeleines, which was pretty good. And of course, each cake had a different flavor. The cakes tasted good, I might add. The cakes tasted really good, no problem at all. The view looked fantastic. And soon enough, we found ourselves flying above the Charles de Gaulle International Airport. We could see it, it's so big you guys, wow. A few minutes after we flew above the airport, it was time to start landing. The view was amazing. Charles de Gaulle is one of the world's top 10 busiest airports. More than 60 million passengers use this airport every year. Amazing. The airport functions as a city, an aerotropolis as they call it and it's located 25 kilometers or 16 miles from the city center. The aircraft arrived in Paris before the scheduled time, 20 minutes before actually. 
Well, the airport is huge, one of the world's busiest, and I saw quite a few Brazilian-made Amber airplanes. Cool stuff. People left the aircraft in an orderly manner, aisle by aisle. It was pretty organized. Thumbs up. Time to leave the aircraft now. Let's go. to connect to Milan. Welcome to Paris, everybody. Now I have to find my flight to Milan. The airport is quite impressive. It's really big and really busy, even in the pandemic, so you get the idea. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to connect to Milan. Welcome to Paris, everybody. Now I have to find my flight to Milan. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Um, now I'm connecting and uh, I came from Lisbon. And I'm in Paris right now, as you all know it. Please watch my other video in which I'll take you from Paris to Milan. All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. I'm so tired. Bye bye. Thanks. I had only 50 minutes in between flights, so I had to be quick, find my gate, go to the bathroom, and film to show you guys. Challenging, huh? This part of the airport is incredible. It all belongs to Air France. There are several restaurants, stores, cafes, and whatnot. Pretty cool stuff. Love it. Hey everyone, please watch my following trip report, my Air France flight from Paris to Milan, and my flights from Milan to Lisbon, one by TAP and one by Ryanair. Hey guys, thanks for watching, see you in my other videos, and please add me on Instagram at Rodrigo Morato with two T's, okay? Thank you so much. Bye bye, see you soon.